Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So as we have been discussing this COVID-19 pandemic situation, uh, most of the people have this very doubt. That is, if you only suspect in COVID-19 infection, what investigation should I do? Because, because of the lack of knowledge about this subject, lots of people are getting misguided and they do unnecessary investigations at inappropriate times and it actually leads to further complications. So what is that? So there are various investigations. There is RT-PCR or rapid antigen test. Then there is CT scan for finding lung infection. And then there are blood tests such as CBCCR, PLD, HD, diamond and all that. So which test should be done at which stage and what implications does it have? That is what we are going to discuss about today. So we all know that this COVID-19 infection has multiple stages. The initial 5 to 7 days is called viremic phase, just the virus replicates that is multiplies inside our body and causes symptoms such as fever, sore throat, cough and some mild cold, myalgia that is body pain, headache and all that, even some loose stools and vomiting. So in this stage, if you are suspecting COVID, but at any situation due to this coronavirus pandemic, if any person develops such symptoms, it is always better to doubt COVID-19 infection for our safety. So at this stage, if you want wants to diagnose, one has to do only either the RT-PCR for finding the virus or the rapid antigen test. RT-PCR is a bit superior to rapid antigen test. Both have a good uh, true positivity ratio, but there can be sometimes false negative. So what is that false negative? If you don't take the swab properly, that is the throat swab or the nasal swab, 3 out of 10 times even negative result may not be negative at all. So 3 out of 30 percent of the times when the result says negative, there is still a possibility that you are COVID-19 positive. This rapid antigen test and the RT-PCR have to be taken with a pinch of salt because they cannot detect all the infections. They have a decent sensitivity but they have a very good specificity. What is that? If the test says COVID-19 positive, it is highly unlikely that the result was given as wrong. So in such a case, RT-PCR and rapid antigen test can be used in the first week. And many people are speaking about something called CT value in that RT-PCR report. That is nonsense. It has no relation to the severity of the disease. So kindly ignore that. So in this time, one should not do CT scan, that is lung scan to diagnose the COVID-19 infection because most of the people will not develop lung lesions before 5 to 6 days. So only after 5 to 6 days, when when the inflammatory phase started, the lung infection starts to appear, the pneumonia signs start to appear and only then some CT changes will be evident in CT scan. So if at all, if you want to do a CT scan, you have to do at least after 6 to 7 days of infection and when you have some breathing difficulty, something like that, you can do a CT scan to know the lung involvement percentage. So there are lots of scores will be given something out of 25, something out of 40, something like that. Sometimes the scores will be given as percentage of lung involvement. No need to worry much about the CT scan because it only tells whether lung involvement is there or not. All the treatment management is based on the clinical condition. So how is the saturation? How is the respiratory rate? How is the breathing effort? So only this clinical condition determines the treatment. It is not the CT score because one person with 40% lung involvement can be completely asymptomatic and he can be just managed in home with minimal medication. But at the same time, another person with only 25 to 30% infection can be highly symptomatic. So each person's body is different. So much importance need not be given for CT scan. It can be just used as a tool for detecting lung lesions, but it should not be taken in the first week to rule out COVID-19 infection. It is totally wrong. Then what are the use of blood investigations? There are lots of blood investigations which are used nowadays. It is CBC, CRP, LDH, D-dimer and among all these, only the CBC and CRP contain more significance because the CBC gives us one value called the neutrophil lymphocyte ratio and whenever it is more than 3.5, we can tell that okay some inflammation is going on and whenever it is more than 6.5 we can tell that okay the inflammation is severe and at the same time even with higher CRP denotes that active inflammation is going on but to repeat even with this elevated CBC and CRP only the clinical condition of the patient that is the oxygen percentage and the breathing rate determines the treatment protocol these numbers alone don't matter without the clinical correlation 
and how about this ferritin ldh il6 and all this these are taken inside the hospital when one is getting covid 19 treatment inside the hospital these investigations are taken to assess whether the person will need some other drug like say tocilizumab or a remdesivir something like that so these investigation can be taken to ascertain few facts but most of this investigation should not be taken in the first week so all these investigations just like ct scan if they are taken in the first week of infection it will be completely normal it has no use but at the same time if the clinical condition is good and if the numbers are little bit abnormal no need to panic about it so finally only the clinical condition matters so ultimately the first week if you suspect do an rt pcr or rapid antigen test don't do ct scan don't do blood investigation the second week if disease is worsening or progressing you can do the blood investigations to detect the early signs and if you can do the ct scan to detect the early signs but only the clinical condition determines all the treatment protocol few physicians say if the crp is starting to elevate maybe you can start steroids and blood uh, anticlotting agents before that so that is uh, one more approach but the clinical condition is all that matters so as i said before if you do the wrong test at the wrong time if you do ct scan on day 2 and be assured that okay the lungs are normal then you might end up in complications by day 7 or day 8 so don't do investigations without doctor's prescription so the doctors know when to do what investigations so be safe follow the guidelines always get a doctor's opinion before doing these investigations don't self medicate don't do investigations on your own only then you'll be able to come out of this covid-19 pandemic